from uh, Tobago Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Citizenship, Immigration and International Trade. Minister, in my riding of Etobicoke Centre, we have a large number of small and large business owners, as well as people who are involved in business. And when I speak with them, um, they tell me that it's so important that here in Ontario we create uh, an environment where businesses have an opportunity to grow, and through that we create employment for all Ontarians across all sectors. Now, one of the most effective ways to do that is through the expansion and strengthening of our trade relationship with the United States. And in fact, I know that the Premier's mandate letter to your ministry emphasizes the government's goal to advance international trade interests. Minister, would you tell us what action is being taken to ensure a beneficial trading relationship with the United States? Good question. Minister. Thank you, thank you, Speaker. And I want to thank the Honourable Member from Ethiopia Centre for asking. Speaker, last week I was in America. I was in Washington conducting a trade mission. Speaker, this was my first trade mission as Minister responsible for international trade, and I am proud of it. Speaker, I had a great trip, very fruitful and downright important. It is important because, as the member state, the U.S. is Ontario's largest trading partner. In 2013, Ontario's export to U.S. totaled $128 billion, importing $115 billion. Speaker, Ontario trade with the world, U.S. represents 64 per cent of that total. Speaker, Answer. this is a big number. We must maintain our close tie with the U.S. We must strengthen our trade with them. It's a win-win situation. It will benefit our economy. It will create jobs. Thank it you. will benefit the people of Ontario. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'm sure that the people of Ontario will be pleased to hear the confidence the minister has in our broader relationship with the United States. And it's encouraging to know that this government understands and values the broader and, and scope and depth of our partnership. I would say, however, that, and I think the minister would agree, that it's critical that we explore all possible avenues for economic development and growth. In fact, I was recently at a meeting at the Rotary Club of Etobicoke where I met with business people who are giving back to their community, and they spoke to me of the work that they're doing abroad in Asia and in Europe through their businesses. So the economic success of Ontario will be greatly influenced by our ability to expand, negotiate, and work with um, global, our global trade partners. So, Minister, the business community of my riding and I believe of all of Ontario would be interested in hearing what steps are being taken to provide additional opportunities for trade and investment outside of the United States. Thank you. Minister. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, while I was in Washington, I was told that the U.S. had more trade discussions with Mexico than with Canada. When I asked, how is this possible? How does Mexico work with you so often? The response was, because they keep locking on our doors. Speaker, our trade partnership with the U.S. is one that we must work to preserve and strengthen. The Premier's mandate letter was clear when she said we must seek opportunities worldwide. It is our duty to lock on these doors on behalf of all Ontarians. As the Minister of Citizenship, Immigration and International Trade, I will work to lock on the door of the United States and the door of the world. Answer. This is why I, took, I look forward to trade missions like the one to China that myself, the Premier and the Minister of Economic Development will embark on this week. Thank you, Thank you. Speaker.